Hi, this is Vicky from the Spellbound Bead Company and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a, a really cute little 3D butterfly that's great for embellishment. So to make the butterfly you're going to need some size 6 seed beads, some size 11 seed beads and two colours for the wings. And this butterfly is the butterfly from the Bluebell Wood Needle case, which is uses two quite dainty shades of pink. But for the purposes of the video, I'm going to use two more contrasting colours so they stand out nice and clearly. I've got a size 12 needle and about a metre of uh, Nymo thread. And I've just tied a keeper bead about 15, 20 centimetres from the end, just to leave us a tail um, to work with if we want to sew this onto something as an embellishment when it's done. Let's get started. Then we're going to pick up three of the larger and four of the smaller body beads. Bring those up. And then we're going to leave aside the last bead that we put on. And we're going to go back up through the other six. And pull that all the way up so that the beads are sitting nice and tightly in a line. What you want to do is this last bead of the row, you want it to stay sitting so the hole is in line with all of the others um, because when it comes to stitching it onto something that will make it a little bit easier. We're going to pick up one more of the 11s for the head. We're going to turn and we're going to come back through two size sixes and there we've got the body of our, our butterfly started. So let's make a start on the wings. We're going to pick up two of the inner wing colour and we're going to come down through that bead that we're coming out of a second time so that the beads sit in a strap just around the side. I'm going to go up through the first bead. We're going to pick up two more of the red and we're going to go through the second bead of the previous row. Okay, there we go, just make sure they're sitting nicely. So as before, we're going to come down through the body bead again. These have got a nice big hole in them, so you've got plenty of, of room there. Now what we're going to do is reposition the needle before we do the third row. So we're going to go through the first, uh, the beads of the first row again. So don't just ignore the two that you've just put on and go up through there. Okay, so now we're going to pick up one more red. And we're going to come through the first bead that we come to from the second row. We're going to pick up another one and come through. Oop, try not to get caught on your scissors. I'm going to pick up a third one and we're going to go back up through the first, the beads off the first row again. So we're going, the needles come down this way and we're going to go back up to reinforce, uh, reposition, sorry, not reinforce. So come through one, just take your time and pull through, oops. Doesn't want to play. Now, if your thread's doing a lot of twisting like it is here, just take a sec and just run your fingers over the needle and thread through the work, and it'll just take the twist out, and it'll just make it a bit easier going forward. So, I've gone through the first bead. Of the row and there's the second bead of the row and then we're going to reposition by coming down through the first bead of the row that we've just finished and we're going to pick up two of the blue so two of the outer edge color and down through the second bead of the previous row and then we're going to pick up one, one blue bead, and we're going to come up through the first bead of the row two. So that's the pair that we've put on. 
there so we're sort of square stitching that one to the side okay we're going to come through the second bead of row two and the first bead of row three now i've gone through those two together because the needle's just gone straight through so but do it one at a time if you need to okay so now we're going to pick up a red we're going to come down through the two beads the two blue beads on the previous row pick up a red and come down through the blue single blue bead at the end there oops this is quite fiddly because it's small you haven't got an awful lot to hold on to okay now we're going to go back up through the bead that we've just added there so we've got a turn I'm going to pick up three more red and we're going to go through the um the first bead of the previous row there and that is the first half of the first wing completed so a reposition for today we're going to come out for the second one we're going to go down through first bead there on the edge up through first bead on the first row and then we're going to come through the bead that the wings on and the bead on the row underneath and there we've got the first half of the first wing okay so to make the bottom wing I'm going to pick up two we're going to go down through the body bead and then we're going to come back up through those two and we're also going to come up through the bead on row three of the upper wing that's just sitting there it's quite a natural progression this will just join the two wings together just make sure you haven't got your thread thread caught there okay there we go so now we're going to pick up the blue and we're going to come down through the second bead of this row here sorry there we're going to pick up another one and we're going to go back up through the reeds of this row so through there through there and out at the top Just make sure that's sitting in the right place. Okay, so we're coming out of the bead that's connecting it to the top wing again. I'm going to come down through this first bead on the previous row. We're going to pick up two of the blue. And we're going to go down through the bottom bead. There. Okay, then we're going to pick up another blue. We're going to come back up through the two blue ones that we've just added. And the first one of the row before, which is there. Oops. make sure your threads pulled through okay so then we go back to the red I'm going to pick up one of those and I'm going to come down through the first bead of the pair that we put on in row nine I'm going to pick up one more and we're going to go through the bead that we put on, on row 10 there Okay, pick up 
another red. We're going to go up through the bead we've just added. I'm going to pick up one more. And we're going to go up through the bead um, above. I'm going to reposition the needle. Oops. I'm going to come down through the first bead. I come to here. This is a bit difficult to show because I can't try and keep my fingers out of the way. The 2M of the pair there. back up through the one on the end, pick up two, two red and go up, and then up through the end here, and there is your second wing complete or the bottom half of your wing. So I'm going to reposition the needle now to make the second wing. So to do that we're going to come down up through here and then we're going to come up through the first two beads that we put on on the first wing. Now these are a little bit full of thread so they might be a little bit tight. So take your time. The thread's just got twisted again so it's just getting caught. And this top one here is quite full of thread, so it might be a little bit tight. Just give it your needle a wiggle. And then we're going to come down through here to be in the right place to start the second wing. So we start with 2L. And come back up through the first one. Pick up two through the second one down and up through the beads of the first row a second time. Okay, then we're going to pick up a red through the First bead on the second row, red, second bead on the second row, red, and we're going to turn and we're going to go back up through the beads of the first row there, and make sure that one sits in the right place, and then we're going to come down through the first bead that we added on the row we've just done. I'm going to pick up two blue, which are M in the instructions, through that middle bead. And then we're going to pick up one more. And we're going to go back up through the, the beads on row two there. Do that. And then there's the first one, the second one, and through out through the first bead on row three as well. There. And again, just make sure you tell the bead where you want it to sit. There. Pick up a red. We're going to 
going to come down through that pair of blue beads. I'm going to pick up a red. And we're going to go through that single blue bead on its own. Okay. Then I'm going to go back up through that last bead we've put on. Pick up three red. And go through the first bead of the previous row. Ooh, I've only picked up two there. Let's just back through there. Pick up a third and go back up. Okay, and there we've got the first half of the wing. So reposition the needle again. So come down. And up and then down through the two body beads so the one the wings attached to and the one underneath and there we're in the right place to start the bottom half of the wing so I'll pick up two and we'll go down to make the strap we'll come up through those two and through that first bead of row three on the wing above. And we're going to go for the blue. We're going to go down through the second bead that we've just put on there. I'm going to pick up a blue and I'm going to go up through that bead on row two. So back up through the bead you're coming out of. No, hang on. And out through the bead at the top. I'm going to come down through the first blue bead we've put on, on the previous row. Pick up two blue, only two. And go through that second blue bead we put on, on the previous row. Pick up a blue, go up through the two you've just put on. and out through the blue off the row before. Oops. Okay. We're then gonna pick up a red. We're gonna come through the first blue of that pair. Pick up a red and go through the blue that we added on the, the last row. Pick up a red and go back up through the one we've just added. Pick up a red and go through the first one on the previous row. And now we're going to reposition the needle. We're going to come down Oops. as we did before, so through there, through the two blue on that row. Oops, through the one at the end. Oops, try not to catch your thread in a knot while you're at it. And just take that through and undo there. Okay, so we're going to come up through that on the row 12, 
pick up two and we're going to go up through the two that's sitting above it and there's our second wing complete so we'll bring the needle back through here so going through one up through one now you can see, you do see a little bit of the thread on this design so it's important that you make sure that you use a thread that's going to sit in the background. So we'll go up through the beads of the fir first beads of the first wing, so through the one, through two, And then this time I'm going to come all the way down. So I'm coming out at the bottom of the butterfly. There we go. And there is one beautiful 3D butterfly.